Well, a new policy for SUNY schools regarding the use of a chosen name and pronoun. Governor Hochul asking campuses across the state to ensure students' identities are reflected throughout the SUNY system. Ericetta Cost has been following this and joins us now. Ericetta, good morning. Good morning. The governor is directing all 63 SUNY campuses to update their policies regarding the use of a chosen name and pronoun. As you mentioned, this is all to ensure transgender, gender nonconforming, and non binary students' identities are reflected throughout the campus. And here's a look at what that would mean. Campuses would ensure students' chosen name appears on diplomas, campus profiles, and anywhere else in the system. They would be allowed to check an X marker if they don't identify with male or female. And we're told the name policy must be fully implemented by ne next fall, that's uh, 2023, and the gender policy by the end of this year. The governor says the whole point is to make campus feel more accepting, a place of love and belonging. I spoke to one SUNY Brockport student who identifies as non-binary gender fluid. Riley Johnson is graduating soon, but they say it's a great step forward in making campus feel more inclusive. It gives students an opportunity to be recognized and respected, um, and it gives faculty and staff an opportunity, so it's not some uncomfortable conversation between students who aren't so ready for it yet. Um, and it's something more legitimized than, say, a signature in an email or a conversation in class. And a 2018 study of 500 transgender college youth identified their top ideas for making campus feel more inclusive. Part of that included the ability to use a chosen name on all campus records, gender inclusive restrooms, and non discrimination policies. In the studio, Eric had a cost, News 8. Ericetta, thank you so much. The announcement does come after the governor's recent decision to allow an ex-gender option on state driver's licenses as well.